Good evening, everyone. Joe for Jaspie's Hobbyland here. On NBA Finals night, we're doing a little Guardians of the Galaxy. It's a two-box break, uh, random pack break number 12. But here's the thing. Uh, Mark, Mark B, bought all the spots in this, bought all 20 packs. So these last two boxes, it's essentially has become a personal box for him. So the last two boxes of this case were uh, boxes 10 and 12. So good luck, Mark. Thank you very much. I don't know any trades as Paul T. We're, we should expect a, because we haven't seen it yet, but we should be expecting a 5x7, um, 5 by 7 uh, sketch card in there. Now, we did the first case, but we did not see, we did not see it in the first case. Hopefully, we'll see one in the second case. If not, I mean, we'll be contacting Upper Deck about that anyway. John F., you bought packs in break 11, which is already, the video is already posted. This is break 12. All right, Mark, good luck. All right, so all those two relics are going to go to you. Mark is Mark is feeling a relic auto. Mark is feeling a relic auto in this, he says. You might get that 5x7 box topper, the sketch box topper. If it's not there, you know, we'll have to figure it out. You got some wood there, though. Some good wood. That's pretty cool. Now, we have another two boxes of Guardians of the Galaxy in the store right now, folks. JaspiesHobbyland.com. That is from a fresh case. So fresh and so clean. Josh, you're, yeah, I know, it's like, like, it's, you'll see what I'm talking, it's made out of wood, literally. All right, good luck, everybody. Nope, good luck, Mark. <laughs> Not everybody, I'm so used to saying that. No, Mark bought all the packs. Good luck, Mark. Good luck, one person. Okay, here we go. Good luck. I flash through these cards. There's the purple foil. That's out of 99. I'll sleeve and top load those all, all in one go. These are just base cards. These are just copper foiled ones. Those are not numbered. Those blue foils are numbered. Nice, out of 199 on that one. Another bit of blue foil out of 199. And there's our first set of relics right there Galactic Garb, Yondu, Rocket, Drax, and Nebula. I'll sleeve all these up at once. The other one is Drax. Drax Galactic Garb. Nice. Nice. That's red. There you go. Baby Groot in red. Out of 15 out of 49. Nice. So a lot of foil so far. A lot of cool parallels. There's the wood. Blue foil. Star Lord. Out of 199. Uh, Josh York asking, what's the appeal with this product? Well, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. It's popular. It's becoming a popular franchise. Two movies in already. I'm sure there'll be more. Supply and demand. 
not a lot of these cards out there. So on a secondary market, stuff like this, I think, I think these easily go for like a hundred bucks or something like that, right? And it's a pretty inexpensive break as well. So that's all, also makes it kind of a budget friendly sort of thing. Non-sports stuff actually does pretty well on a secondary market. Jasmine's Hobbyland in the near future, near-ish future, purple foil out of 99, uh, we'll be getting into, I believe we'll be starting a separate channel uh, that will do some of this non-sports stuff and even some alternative sports as well. Yondu, Galactic Garb, nice. And dual Galactic Garb, Yondu and Aisha. There you go. All right. So now let's see what those uh, see what those box toppers are going to have. Let me sleeve these up. So you got a lot of parallels, Mark. That's pretty cool. Leave these guys up too. ESPN has caps only seven percent chance of winning. Seven? Yeah. That's it? Seven. Why? Because it seems kind of ridiculous. I, I feel like they're more evenly matched than people think. No. Apparently not. It should be the other way. <laughs> Let's top load these up as well. I love the, uh, the the laser etched wood cards. I think they look pretty sharp. I'm a fan of it. I would try to I would try to collect the entire. I'm sure people are doing. Uh, I'm sure people would do the entire wood set right there. Wow. So now, since these are the last two boxes of the case, we have not seen the five by seven. Um, we have not seen the 5x7 sketch card, which is allegedly one per case. Now, TJ says that's fake news, Axel. Did you miss? Did you misremember? Is he calling me a liar? Yeah, I think he is calling you a liar. Maybe Axel just had alternative facts, TJ. <laughs> I know that I heard wrong. I make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> All right, there you go. Got all these top loaded. So nice parallels there. All right. Box stoppers. Good luck. First one is. Wow, there it is. The 5x7 artist sketch card. Wow. That looks great. I would keep this and frame it. That is awesome. One of one. Let me pull the uh, pull the focus out a little bit. That is pretty sweet, right? That's nice. Let me try to get a get a nice screenshot of this. That's nice, real nice. All right, and the other one. The other one is Star Lord. Any so, and that's it, folks. Mark, congratulations. You got the Groot Wood, which was cool. A bunch of foil parallels. And then you got the uh, you got the 5x7 sketch right there. Nice. Thanks very much, Mark. Appreciate you getting in. For anybody else who wants to chase sick stuff like this, jazbeeshobbyland.com. We've got another two-box break from a fresh case. Thanks a lot, Mark. We'll see you next time.